all have one disturbing thing in common. At least 18 businesses advertising as massage parlors in Springfield, Missouri, have been rated as part of a multi-state investigation, Missouri Attorney General Josh Hawley announced Thursday. All of these businesses had one disturbing thing in common, and now, a lawsuit has been filed, seeking emergency court orders to shut them down for good. According to Greene County Prosecutor Daniel Patterson, many of the businesses searched had advertised on Backpage.com and RevMaps.com, which are websites known by law enforcement to be used to promote the sex trade. Investigators discovered that the massage parlors were housing women against their will and forcing them to perform sex acts on patrons. Similar raids were being conducted in Alabama, Arkansas, and Louisiana. The Springfield News Leader provided a list of the businesses which were raided. Angel Massage, Star Plaza, 1774 1⁄2 S Grand Avenue. Asian Massage, Northeast Plaza, 2005 East Kearney Street. Shui Massage and Spa, 520 W University, Hashi. Shi Spa, 2971 East Chestnut Expressway. Golden Massage. 4728 South Campbell Avenue No. 112. Lotus Spa, Sunshine Corners, 220 West Sunshine Street. Massage Best Spa, 1550 East Battlefield Road, No. N2. Great Spa, 2841 South Fremont Avenue. Palm Spa, Imperial Plaza, 2902 South Campbell Avenue No. E. Peace Massage, 3029 East Sunshine Street. Phoenix Massage, 1261 East Republic Road. Relax Spa, Silver Center, 2022 S. Stewart. Sunshine Spa, Plaza Towers Center, 1925 South Glenstone Avenue. Missouri Attorney General Josh Hawley issued a thinly veiled threat to any other businesses which might also be involved in illegal sex trafficking on Thursday, saying, We will find you out, we will hunt you down, and we will prosecute you. According to ABC News, in April, Hawley announced that he planned to crack down on human trafficking in Missouri and created an anti-trafficking unit. The new anti-trafficking unit participated in Thursday's raids and is currently investigating other businesses with alleged involvement in human trafficking, including Backpage.com. The raids were carried out the same week as the U.S. House of Representatives passed three bills to combat human trafficking across the United States, the most notable of which is the Frederick Douglass Trafficking Victims Prevention and Protection Act, which would reauthorize more than $520 million over the next four years to fight human trafficking. The bill is currently pending in the U.S. Senate. Source, The Blaze. With so much wasteful spending coming out of Washington these days, human sex trafficking is definitely a worthy cause for our tax dollars to be put towards. Those who enslave women and children for their own sexual gratification and monetary gain are pure evil and deserve to be dealt with to the fullest extent of the law. No leniency whatsoever should be shown to the owners of the businesses in Missouri which have ruined too many lives to count. Thank you for watching. What do you think about this? Share this on Facebook and Twitter along with your comments, comments.